Hey guys, what's up? So I recently made a video about how I have my destructive powers, the destructive powers of Kalki Avatar, talking about how I've made many natural disasters and very destructive things. But I also have a creative side as well, and I have creative powers, and I've created many things, a lot of entertainment things and things in media. The Kalki Purana also states that the creator god, Brahma, creates the universe according to the will of Kalki, according to my will. So yeah, that is also further proof that I can create anything, and I can actually make things real as I want to, or whatever I want, and create whole entire universes. And um, so I have both creative and destructive powers, and I create a lot of things using prophecy. First thing I created was Jiren. I call him Jiren Landek. It was Jiren Kaihem Landek, but he's Jiren the Grey from Dragon Ball Super. I talked about already how I created him. And then um, recently I created Ciel, which is the Archangel Azrael. Azrael incarnated as Ciel. So I created Ciel Guts from Berserk, which is really Hades. And uh, Griffith also from Berserk. And then Skull Knight from Berserk. Pippin. Casca and Rickert from Berserk as well. And then from Hunter Hunter, I sort of created a little bit of Karapika and Natero. Uh, well, yeah, I'd say Natero and Karapika as well. And then also back to Black Butler, I also created Pluto, the dog. I wrote, I wrote about a dog named Pamunya um, related to CL. So I created Pamunya, which is called Pluto in the show Black Butler, that shape shifting dog. And then I've also made people famous, though, as well. Like, I made Nicholas Cruz famous and David Hogg famous. Like, I made David Hogg famous because he was the main character in a story I wrote about the Parkland shooting, which I wrote 10 minutes before the Parkland shooting. And then also there was this guy, Cray something, that God of War story. I forget what it's called. But anyways, then I also have two different universes I created, fictional universes, you could say, but they're not even really that fictional because it's, like, prophecy. And uh, who knows, maybe like it actually is created on in the heavenly realms or as a video game someday in the future. Maybe this will be, I don't know, a video game or something. Like, but whatever. But like, um, the point is, it's prophecy. And like, what I write, all my stories always come true. So like, I've made these two different um, fictional cinematic universes. They're called Ikea and Guzara, which I created them. And I hope to someday publish those as books. And so, yeah, um, I created, like, these characters, like, Jiren, Ciel, Guts, and Griffith, and Natero. Like, I created them using prophecy, and some of them I did use time travel to create it. Because, like I said, I, like I explained in many videos, I can do time travel, and I can control the past and make the past happen. And so, yeah, I created all these characters. Uh, again, I also sort of influenced Dragon Ball Z to have silver eyes for Goku as well. Oh, yeah, and then I also, you could, you, so you could technically say that um, Universe 11 from Dragon Ball Super is part of Akea, part of the universe I created, where Jiren is from. So I created that whole thing where Jiren is from as well. Because uh, Akea and Guzara are those two fictional universal, two cinematic universes that I created. And so, yeah, those are my creative powers. And so far, it's just been in media and entertainment. I've created some, a lot of really great fictional characters through these prophecies. And, um, of course, it doesn't really matter the fact that they're fictional because, like, in prophecy, like, prophecy, like, it's some, like, you know, and also because um, there's our, a lot of them are avatars of deities or whatever. So it's like a genjutsu or whatever. But it's like the fact that it's, an artwork, the fact that it's really artwork that I created that got really famous, that cost millions of dollars to make, that had millions and millions of fans. A lot of people love these shows, and it's just really good artwork and that uh, is created. And so, yeah, I'm going to continue to create more stuff. So then, I, so then another thing I created... Another thing I created was this DC comic, Rebirth. It's the story of Azrael, Azrael and Batman. Batman, truth about Robin's death and Azrael, Rebirth, complete story. I made that also using time travel. And 
that was actually a really good job on, on the part of DC Comics. But yeah, so because I, I talked about Azrael, I made Azrael like a super soldier and used a god computer, and they have this god spear in, in that comic. Um, so yeah, I created that DC comic as well. So then I also created this ancient Babylonian deity named Ensu. So I created this god. I've created many gods, and most of the things I create, which I am proud of, are gods. Like Jiren is a god, and obviously Griffith is a god. Guts is a god. Azrael Ciel is a god. Eru is a god. And so I created Ensu, based on this character, Ensu Drin. I made up this character named Ensu Drin, and I said he was the brother of Enji, which is Enki, the god Enki, and I said he was the brother of Enki, basically. His name is Ensu Drin. And then I find out there's a real god named Ensu, which is the, like, nephew of Enki. And so I time travel by thousands of years. I time travel, like, literally, I time travel thousands of years to create Ensu. So I created a god with Ensu. So, yeah, it's not just uh, fictional characters that I create. And and the, and the fictional characters that I create in real life are real because they're prophecy and because they're gods. But Ensu is actually a real life thing. And so is David Hogg and Kitaro Mayara. I can, and I also created Kitaro Mayara too. So I've created many real life beings. And like I said, the ones that I created that are fictional, the ones that I created, are real now because I can make fictional things real with the reality power control of reality because it's a prophecy and because it's a prophecy that's what makes it real uh, in heaven basically and in the spiritual realm multiverse so this absolutely is amazing like I made this DC comic as I talked in my story I wrote, I said Azrael was the super soldier created by the god computer, and they have this god machine in this comic, the god machine, and I said he's a super soldier, and obviously Ciel was abducted as a child. So yeah, I created this DC comic using time travel. And uh, obviously, John Paul Valley is Azrael, and this is a prophecy. This DC comic is a prophecy, and so is Black Butler and Berserk. So I made three different things with this one story, Black Butler, Berserk, and this DC comic, all with this story called uh, Book of Their Song, Paradise Empire. And so, yeah, Azrael is the uh, angel of death, but he's also the angel of heaven and heavenly bliss and like as we are is the perfect holy supreme being archangel Azrael. and also created a uh, virgin galactic this flight well at least i made a prophecy for it but yeah i make prophecies for sometimes it's just hard to tell if i made it or if it's just a prophecy but yeah, this thing called Virgin Galactic is a space flight. It's kind of, I sort of made that as well. Yeah, like I'm, I wrote, was writing about this, like the day it happened. Sky all the way to 50,000 feet. Then, desert, climbing through a cloudless in California as Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 Mothership lifted off from the Mojave Desert. Climbing through a cloudless sky all the way to 50,000 feet. Then, release. Three. Two, one, release. Spaceship 2's pilots in a sudden freefall. Rolling to the right. Before firing their rocket, then extreme acceleration. Mach 1, Mach 2, then nearly three times the speed of sound. Soaring to 51.4 miles beyond what the FAA calls the edge of space. So yeah, like I made this, I made a prophecy about this, and then I was writing about someone going to the edge of space in a spaceship and uh, literally going to the edge of space, but like where the end of the universe is, past the creation boundary, where the universe stops, like it hasn't been created yet. 
And so it, there's a boundary. And when someone gets there, the universe automatically just creates more after that. So it can go infinitely far. But if someone goes fast enough, then they can go faster than the creation boundary and escape to the outer realms, which is what I wrote about in this story. I wrote that the very same day this came true with Virgin Galactic and just became actually it became a prophecy and I even wrote about like the guy I had said I said he had blonde hair and looked kind of like Richard Branson a little bit and so this was actually a historic launch because this was like the first time a company has done a sent someone to space for a commercial company so I made history right here again